cold right now, so please forgive me. What an impressive lineup of speakers we have this morning. Woo!
<laughs> you you got that joke. Very <laughs> <laughs> <Here we> inside. <laughs> anyway, on a serious note, I was talking with my father, who has his doctorate in philosophy and communications. And he was a, a high school principal here in Iowa City for a number of years. And he's been an educator for his entire life. He's taught me more about life than any other teacher or professor that I ever had in college or high school. And he said, is this something you, like, you really like doing? And I said, yeah. And, and he doesn't know. He has never been in one of these ballroom competitions or anything like that. And he said, make it count. Make it count. And he said this two weeks ago. And I thought, gosh, you know, I really am kind of in a unique position where I'm not a coach. I'm not a mentor. I have no technical ability. My job, and all of us have our niches and our roles, is to come out and keep you guys excited and keep the year moving. And that's what I do. So I'm going to bring that same energy of the Gangnam Dance to every <laughs> single competition that we have this year because it's what I feel is my innate gift to you. Now, President Mason was right when she said, somebody in this room is going to create something wonderful in their life. Probably more than one of you. What's it gonna be? I like Becca's signature on the bottom of her email, and I'm gonna summarize it basically <laughs> saying, you can't expect tomorrow's success with yesterday's technology. It's true. And, and Albert Einstein, right? <laughs> yes. And uh, so I started thinking about two weeks ago, what is, what is my gift going to be other than just bringing energy and excitement and playing my MC role with crazy hats or whatever the situation calls for? Which reminds me, about four or five years ago, on the Pentecrest lawn, excuse me, in Corville, I think, I introduced Dennis DeYoung from Sticks. And I am wearing my Domo Arigato <laughs> shirt. And that is the young man. A little side note there. We are going to get to the game competition. <laughs> or the uh, game video. But I, I wanted to tell you one thing. This was an epiphany, and I haven't told Becca, and I didn't tell anybody else about this. But it literally woke me up out of a sound sleep about two weeks ago. I am very, very passionate about you group of kids. I'm in a position, unlike my father, where I never thought I'd be an educator. I never thought that I would have the experience of being with all of you wonderful, wonderful gals and guys. What is my gift going to be? And, and this phrase, I'm going to repeat at every competition, not as preaching to the choir or trying to get you down or anything like that. But this is going to be my gift to remind you that just like every single one of you have the opportunity to do something great and, and be responsible, every single one of you also have the power to be irresponsible and not use technology properly. So my phrase that I'm going to end every competition and every qualifying match that we have over the next few months is simply this. Drive first, text next. Drive first, text next. Woo! Woo! It scares me, it scares me to know that the odds of somebody being involved in a car accident that may result in a fatality over the next few months that I may not be able to see your face at the next qualifying match or at the state competition breaks my heart. Please, people, use technology appropriately. Drive first, text next. I think that we are on to a wonderful year of excitement. And, David, are you ready for the game? No, oh, tweets and Facebook. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I forgot the most important part. Please remember, and there are people out there that will check this, no <laughs> tweets. No Facebook, no social media until 3 p.m. this afternoon. I'm dead serious about this. Uh, because of the Iowa State football game and the logistics of being able to announce this on this day nationally, we are a little bit ahead of when everybody else is going to learn about the game. So please, no tweets.
no Facebook, no social media until 3 p.m. this afternoon. Can I get that oath from you? Woo! Yeah. Yeah.